on my Twitch stream, I play the new Hog Mortar Earthquake deck to get a better understanding of how to use it and most importantly, how to win with it. In this video, I'll be making a starter guide for this deck, some strategy behind the deck to use it properly, and some tips and tricks that you can use so you might be able to win some games using this deck yourself. So let's get it. Hello, Govna. <laughs> It's me. <laughs> so today I'm going to be talking about this deck beside me. It's a three elixir hog mortar earthquake deck, and it's very, very, very powerful. It has a very quick cycle having the skeletons and the bats. So you can get to your wing conditions very, very quickly. And you basically always have a wing condition in your hand. You always have the hog or the mortar. And on defense, you got the musketeer and the Valkyrie. Very, very good combination on offense. Very good combination on defense. Very good deck. <laughs> it's a very strong deck. So I could hear you guys saying it already, but cash, we don't have all these cards. Well, I got the, I got the, the solution. I am the solution. I mean, I have the solution. The solution is to switch the cards that you don't have. And some of these switches can include, let's say you don't have the earthquake. Bing, earthquake. You can change it for the ice spirit. You can change it for the bar barrel. You can change it for the fireball. I've seen someone play the fireball version on ladder and it's good. Uh, if you don't have the Valkyrie leveled up, you can change that for maybe the Ice Golem. It, it makes your cycle a little quicker, but your defense a little less powerful. Uh, you can change the Ice Golem for also the Skeletons. That also works very, very well. And if you want to make a bigger change, you can change the Ram Rider for the Hog Rider. I attempted it once. It was... Um, Yeah, it wasn't good. It was not good. But that, that's me. If that's me, if you want to try the Ram Rider, if you love the Ram Rider and you're like, I'm going to do this with the Ram Rider, you do it. You do it with the Ram Rider. Another card that you can change is potentially the Musketeer. Uh, people have brought up on my stream that maybe you can change it with the e -Wiz, And I, I think it could work. I personally like the Musketeer a little bit better, but the e -Wiz, it definitely is viable in this deck. And the last change you can make with this deck is maybe throwing in Fire Spirits or Ice Spirit instead of the Skeletons. That could work. Uh, it, it all just kind of depends on matchup. I personally like the, the skeletons a lot. It's very good for tanking P.E.K.K.A. hits. It's very good for tanking bandit charges or even prince charges. It's just a very versatile card and you can use it in many, many situations. But it's up to you. The goal for this deck is to chip, chip, chip away at your enemy's tower. Throwing down the hog, throwing down that mortar, and getting that one hit with the mortar shot, or maybe that one hog hit on tower, is key for victory. It's not about taking the tower all at once. This isn't a beatdown deck. This is a chip, chip, chip deck. And then while this is happening, you're wanting to defend with your musketeer, your valkyrie, your bats, your skeletons, your snowball, whatever you need to use to defend. And they're all very powerful cards on defense. Using that mortar on defense when you have to, all very key. And then on that counter push, throwing down that hog, throwing down the mortar, it's key. You will be able to win a lot of matchups just using, if you just have this strategy in your head, chip, defend, counter attack, defend, counter attack, defend, counter attack, you will win guaranteed. That's a cash guaranteed. So how do you start a game? My personal preference was to use the mortar or the hog at the start. Uh, if you do not have the mortar or the hog, you can always snowball the princess tower. And if you don't have the mortar, the hog, or the snowball, you might as well quit. No, you don't. You can just play the bats or the skeletons at the back. I personally wasn't a big fan of using the Valkyrie or the Musketeer at the beginning of the game. I'd rather use them on defense, just in case the opponent goes very aggressive at the beginning of the game. And now it's time for Cash's tip time! Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da. The first cash tip that I have is playing your hog at the furthest side of the river. Why should you do this? It's because it is quick. It is a lot quicker for the hog to jump over the river than it is to walk across the bridge. Another reason is because if you have units going over the bridge, the hog can jump in front of those units and get in front and tank for, let's say, the musketeer or the bats. The last reason for this cash tip is because sometimes there's some very weird interactions where in this situation, my opponent played uh, a log and my, my hog jumped over it. And even though it's not a huge deal, it's still, it's, it's the difference between maybe getting an extra hit in with the hog. So, hey, every little bit, remember what I said, chip, chip, chip. The next cash tip is more of a wombo combo. It's when you play the Valkyrie in front of the hog and the hog pushes the Valkyrie to tower, not only defending the hog, but also doing a lot of damage to tower if you get it there. Uh, it's a very solid play. 
you can play the combo at the bridge or you can play the hog behind the valkyrie after the valkyrie was used on defense already and you want to do a little counter push the third tip that i have the third tip <laughs> the third tip that i have and probably the most important tip is to keep the musketeer alive always keep the musketeer alive if you have the chance if you can put something in front of the musketeers even if it's just skeletons do it if the musketeer just gets one shot on tower that's 181 damage on tower with one shot at tournament standard and it's important that's a big hit that's a big big hit it's just just do it just keep it alive i promise you you won't regret it <laughs> keep the musketeer alive the next tip I have for you guys is an offensive tip. In this deck, there's two win conditions. You have the Hog Rider and you have the Mortar. But what if your opponent has a P.E.K.K.A. or an Inferno Tower? Very good defense against the Hog Rider. What do you do? Well, you use the Mortar to bait out the P.E.K.K.A. or the Inferno Tower. It works very, very well. And then once they use the P.E.K.K.A. to deal with your Mortar, or the Inferno Tower to deal with your Mortar, you go Hog Rider, either same lane, opposite lane, or just, it's out of cycle. So, have fun with that. <laughs> These next two tips I have are defensive tips. The first one is to use the Hog Rider on defense. You can use it on defense so, so well in so many different situations. In the situation I have here, there was a P.E.K.K.A. coming at my tower. I didn't have my skeletons in hand, and I didn't have really anything to deal with this P.E.K.K.A. I, def I, did I ended up using the Hog on defense, and it worked like a charm. <laughs> Not only that, but I got hits on tower. It was perfect. Definitely use your hog on defense. Lots of situations. Have fun with it. Try it out. Maybe it will work the first time. Maybe it won't work the second time. But use it. It's a powerful tool. Make sure you use the defensive hogs. Also, make sure you use defensive mortars. Defensive mortars are very, very powerful at bringing units into the middle so they get hit by both your left and your right side tower. And while it does this, it also is able to deal with any supporting units that the opponent plays in their offensive push. And the last cash tip I have for you guys is to be aggressive, to put pressure on your opponent and just put him in very uncomfortable situations to be in. For example, in this match I have here, I played the Mortar on the right side and I played the Musketeer, I played the Valkyrie, and I played the Skeletons, trying to defend my Mortar as much as possible. But it got to a point where there was just too many units on the right side. And right when I saw that Witch on the right side, I played my Hog on the left side so he wouldn't be able to support his Witch and that push that he was making on the right side as much as he wanted to. He had a push going on the left and the right side and it was very easy for me to defend and just keeping on that pressure the musketeer goes down the right side i go hogs on the left side and now he has another push on both sides giant skeleton on one side he had the witch on the other and then you just keep pressuring him and you'll win guaranteed not a guaranteed win but it, it, it does work making sure your opponent doesn't have this big push on one lane and making sure his units are split out between his left side and his right side very good very good play very good play with his deck <laughs> do that and there it is. We're done. That is, that's the review. Not the review, the starter guide. And there we have it. That's the starter guide for the Hog Mortar EQ deck. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you can use some of these tips and tricks to maybe help you win a couple of your first games using this deck. And I definitely recommend using this deck because it's very, very powerful and have fun with it. You know what? If you lose your first couple of games, it's all good. Maybe make a couple of changes to the deck and have fun. That's the end of the game. Have fun. And as for my final thoughts, my final review, my final cash review, my cash review would be if I had to rate this deck on a fun scale, I would give it probably, I would say a whale. I think a whale for a whale of a time. No. <laughs> if I had to give it a free to play ranking, I would give it, mm, I'd say I'd give it a waxing moon. And for the overall power of this deck and just the overall rating of this deck, I will give it a surprised monkey. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did like the video, make sure you drop a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, more starter guides of different decks, make sure you subscribe and turn on that bell, that notification bell. So you know every time I post one of these sweet videos. And also, let me know what you guys think about this deck. If you had to rate it on a scale of 1 to 7, what would you rate it? Drop that in the comments below. And I guess I'll see you guys in the future.